So I have a host discovery policy, um, and we'll click to edit just to view. Um, for the most part, everything for this policy will stay as default as the instructions show. Um, so once that policy is saved, um, it will be an available policy for your scans. Um, so what you would do after creating the policy is create the scan. Um, so what you would do is you'd click add up here and you would use the policy that you recently created. Um, now I created this scan already so I'm just going to take a look at this scan. You can see I used the policy here. I have a scheduled host discovery scan every day in the morning. So it repeats frequency daily every day. I could have it do every other day if I wanted. And really you can set this up in accordance with your asset list. Um, and really just how frequently you're able to run host discovery scans or how frequently you want to check your environment for new hosts. Um, so in here what you would have is set up your scan zone. For our case, automatic distribution is fine. The repository, this is my main vulnerability repository. Um, in the targets, I just have the subnets I'm looking to scan, um, no credentials in this case, and I have a report configured for this, but that's not necessary. And then you click submit. So now this scan will run just about every day at 1 a.m. So we have the policy created, we have the scan created. So let's take a look at the asset list. Um, so what you would ordinarily do is click assets, click add to make a new asset, and you would want to make a dynamic asset list. So now I have done this already, so I will show you mine here. And this is, um, to me, it's a pretty important list to see, to stay on top of, so I like to be able to see it right at the top. Um, and then, as you can see, my asset list has been working. Um, currently has seven new hosts that's been detected. So let's take a look at the asset list to see what is defined for this list. Um, so just the name, description, and really just one asset definition here. And what it is is days since discovery is less than one, one day, where this plugin ID is discovered you can take a look at what this plugin is. Uh, so it's ping the remote host. So once this is reported in a host discovery scan, or once it's reported on a host for the first time ever, um, it will show. So that plugin, this asset definition is how this is populated. So once I launch the host discovery scan, and this plugin is detected on that host for the first time ever, then it will be populated on this asset list.